Hi all, welcome back to my shop. It was quite a long time that I didn't make a video, but uh, I was very busy with my customer. And the job I was making for them uh, was not able to be shared, but that's why it took a long time. So I'll be back on a heavy duty CNC machine uh, that I'm uh, working on. And uh, <clears throat> I restart me making some parts to finish, uh, you know, the base, the column, and so on. And uh, uh, I don't know if you remember, I was uh, playing with those annular cutters. So um, th there is there is two things about the, those guys. Yeah. So if you remember, those annular cutters are a pretty good tool. You can make very big holes and uh, limit the quantity of chips uh, that you are generating. So if you limit the chips, uh, you can put it on a less powered machine. Um, <clears throat> I have a concern with the with the this kind of tooling. Uh, I find I found that I have some runouts uh, during the milling operation and the little drilling operation. And um, uh, I just finished a plate with uh, quite big number of holes. So I was able to make a job, let the plate uh, free, but uh, the way the power is used on the, on the tool was not uh, so good. So um, what I want to do, uh, I want to find the root cause of this uh, runout. So uh, that you have to know, <coughs> uh, there is uh, uh, some different parts that can have the runouts. Uh, I, I use the the annular cutter uh, on my drilling press, and uh, I need to check um, the shaft of the drilling press first to have an idea of the runout. And uh, uh, I have two more scoon. Uh, one is number four, and the second one is number two. And uh, finally, uh, there is an attachment for uh, for the uh, annular cutter. So um, the runout could be the sum of uh, several parts, maybe two or three, or it could be only one uh, that is the that has the, the runout. Uh, so I will make some checking, some investigation, and then I will share with you the results. Uh, uh, of the the runout, um, I'm still concerned about that because I will use also my annular cutter, those one, uh, especially on uh, my my lathe. So I need to understand if uh, there is a concern with the tool or not. So just make a setting to check the runout on a drill press. So uh, <coughs> I put the annular cutter there and the um, gauge to see uh, how big is the runout and so I share with you what I discover I make it turn and if you look at look at it we have let's say seven seven uh, and uh, the unit is uh, 0.01 millimeters, so quite a lot one millimeters of runout. That's pretty big. And I did make the previous plate uh, with the hole from this one, and I discovered the runout with base plates. <coughs> so I have another one to make. And I want to be sure that uh, the runout could be less. So the concern is the the holder here. It's a, it's a Chinese holder. Uh, so there is two options. The first one is to to machine it and to put a inside a ring with the proper uh, runout. But it's not very easy because there is a Morse code just. Uh, just to, to catch it and the best thing I guess is to buy a new holder so uh, it's what I, I will do on a new holder because this one is a Morse number 2 then I have a converter from Morse number 4 to no, to Morse number uh, 2 so it takes a lot of space so the rigidity is not good also so if you look at that I can move a little bit mm two or three <coughs> hundreds so 
the rigidity is not good also so I have two cones and the first one is the runouts and the second one is the rigidity of the of the assembly here <coughs> so uh, I will see how I will finish the job maybe I will use a regular uh, regular drill bits and uh, waiting for you receiving a new I will order uh, a new a new tool order for for those guys because I cannot know work with search way so here it is uh, I will um, go further to make a new step so uh, the job is to put the the plates before this uh, this wall to increase the rigidity and then uh, everything will be ready to receive the linear rails so let's go ahead <coughs> let's do the uh, let's do the drilling operation the mounting and i will share with you the result so thanks for watching